Salt marsh plants, along with three species of mangrove trees, flourish along the edges of the earthen dikes built around the marshes for mosquito control, though these dikes were barren when they were built in the 1950s and 1960s. They have been colonized by plants adapted to withstand fluctuating levels of brackish water. Sea oxide daisy, saltwort, glasswort, and Christmasberry are among the salt marsh pioneering plants. The leaves of all of these plants are succulent, an adaptation to the harsh conditions in which they grow. Sea oxide daisy is the most abundant plant growing on the mosquito control dikes beneath the mangroves. Its foliage is somewhat succulent and has a silver blue green color. During the spring and summer, yellow daisy like flowers grow on the tops of this plant. Saltwort is one of two low growing succulent plants found in sunny locations on the upland edges of mosquito control dikes and in marshy areas. Saltwort is a larval host plant for great southern white butterflies and eastern pygmy blue butterflies. It can be eaten as a salad herb, but is very salty, as its common name applies. Glasswort is one of two low-growing succulent plants found growing in sunny locations on the upland edges of mosquito control dikes and in marshy areas. Glasswort is a larval host plant for eastern pygmy blue butterflies. Early settlers in Florida cooked and pickled glasswort because of its high salt content. Christmasberry bears lustrous red berries around Christmas time and has small purple flowers in the summer and fall, though sometimes flowering and fruiting occurs throughout the year. This salt and drought tolerant shrub has tiny succulent leaves and graceful arching branches. Older plants sometimes are thorny. It grows to be 6 to 10 feet tall and often forms thickets.